Good morning, my name is Tom with Home and RV, and I'll be showing your unit to you this morning, your brand new Keystone Hideout. As we uh, walk around your unit, we'll come up to your storage first. It goes all the way through. There's a door on each side, and uh, your cable is in there, as well as a, uh, a small hose for uh, your sewer dump. So we come on around, uh, have your awning out. Your awning is uh, for shade control only. It's not meant to be left out in stormy or windy weather. So if that's the case, bring it in. Uh, bring it in at night because you never know when that bad weather is going to crop up. And uh, bring it in when you're not around your unit. I know it looks nice being out at the campsite, but uh, it doesn't look nice being up on top of your roof. That's where the wind will take it. Your rooftop is a uh, solid membrane front to back side to side everything that comes up through the rooftop has die core sealant around it the die core sealant is a non-silicone it's made by the die core company and they make a lot of things for campers they make this sealant that is exclusively for the roof do not use any silicone on that roof you it will eat through the membrane we come on around to your LP tanks. Your LP tanks are full and uh, they're ready to use. There is a regulator here that will show you that there is gas in the tank. When gas, uh, when this tank runs dry, uh, this little window will turn red and then you can switch it over to the other tank, turn it on, and uh, that way you won't run out of gas. It's a good idea to just camp with one on at a time. That way, you'll always have a backup. Behind that's your lithium batteries. Your batteries uh, are uh, charged by the uh, solar panel on top of your unit. And uh, there's uh, more to talk about the, the lithium batteries when we go inside. Over here, you have your battery disconnect. So uh, that needs to be on so that your batteries will charge while it's uh, hooked up to your tow vehicle and as well as when it's uh, hooked up to shore power. You have uh, stabilizers on all four corners. Once you uh, level the unit side to side by pulling up on the low side tires uh, onto uh, a ramp or onto uh, some type of leveling apparatus, uh, once it's level side to side and then you can level with your tongue jack in front uh, front to back then you can run your stabilizers down your stabilizers are just that they are not jacks do not use them to jack the unit you will either uh, damage them or the framework itself so come on around to your sewer dump your sewer dump uh, uh, like I say, we have a small hose we give you uh, to uh, get to the sewer dump. You may want to buy a bigger or better one. But what you'll do first is hook up the, uh, the hose with the bayonet connection on, on the dump. Uh, you're going to dump your black tank first, which is the big black valve here. And then you'll dump your gray tank, which is underneath there. Once you've dumped your tank, and it still shows there's something in it uh, with the meter inside and I'll, we'll get to that as well. But if it still shows there's something in the black tank, it means there's things caught on the sensors. So you will, uh, uh, you can hook up a hose to this port, which will flush your tank. And uh, then make sure you're in a dump, that the black is open then you can turn that hose on and it will flush out your tank. The city water connection is up here and it's a good idea to have a pressure regulator to keep it at 55 pounds and you can buy that regulator in the RV shop or you can call us and uh, we can sell it to you and ship it to you uh, as well. So we come on around to the uh, rear bathroom. It has its own dump as well as well as the uh, kitchen sink. So you will uh, dump this in the same manner 
you'll hook a dump hose up to it and be able to pull the black valve which is your uh, toilet and then the gray valve uh, to wash out your hose 50 amp service is here all that cable well the cable up front is yours and there's also a 50 to 30 adapter in the event that you uh, are at a site that does not have 50 amps you need 50 amps to run two air conditioners so do not run uh, two on uh, okay it looks like you just have the one AC the one AC uh, you can run on 30 amps if you have two ACs uh, then you need uh, 50 amps so do not run your air conditioner on any less than uh, 30 amps we come on around brand new spare tire and your stabilizers to the rear there is a uh, outdoor shower uh, behind this door and it uh, just has a sprayer with hot and cold water you do have hookup here for a TV this goes to your onboard antenna and then you have outlets here to plug it in you have outdoor speakers your speakers are water resistant not waterproof so do not spray directly into them they will take rainwater and they'll take you washing down the unit but do not spray directly into it you do have a vent over top of your cooktop and uh, the fan is uh, located uh, under the hood this is your furnace exhaust good idea to get a screen that fits over the top of this it uh, hooks on with two little springs and that way it never comes off uh, it keeps mud daubers and little varmints out uh, so it's a good idea to have that uh, installed this is your fresh water fill we have put some water in that tank so we can uh, show you how things work inside and work properly and uh, we'll do that when we go inside as well your water heater is gas or electric. The gas portion is here, the electric is here. To light them off, you simply go in and push a button. You wanna make sure there's water in the tank by pulling the valve a little bit. That uh, shows you that water is in the tank and it's uh, safe to use. Well, we're talking about your fresh tank. Your fresh tank will dump with this large white valve located under the belly. You'll just pull the lever and the tank will dump uh, automatically. Now we'll go inside and do the same thing. First, when you come in, your uh, service panel is here and your panel, you can push buttons and see that the battery is fully charged. Fresh tank is two thirds nothing in the black or gray tanks your gas uh, this is the water heater so you turn it on it will light off with gas when it lights off this red light will go out electric you just turn it on and if you're plugged into shore power this is what you should use use their electric don't use your gas water pumps on so we can do that and awning lights you saw that we're on when we were outside. These lights are basically the living room. Your slides are here. This is uh, the main slide out, your couch and chair, and then your slide out for your bedroom uh, back there, and a slide out for the bedroom up here that slides out the wardrobe. This battery is for your, or this button is to keep your ion batteries warm in the event that you're camping uh, in cold weather uh, you'll need this on the batteries don't work so well when they're cold we'll come into the bathroom while we're up here you have light switch GFI nice cabinet your toilet fills with the a slight push of a button or the, the foot pump when it's uh, to the height you uh, desire to use it, then after use, you can push it all the way down and that will flush it. This is also where you're going to put your black paint chemicals. You can put your chemicals, either packs or 
or liquid down there and uh, run a little water and you'll do that before you start camping. A lot of times uh, if I'm camping uh, and, eat and ready to go home, I'll still put more chemicals in there to keep the tank smelling nice and fresh. I would not recommend traveling with sewage in your tank. If you do, you're going to have a hard time getting that smell out. Have a nice walk-in shower. And then your wardrobe that slides out in this bedroom. You're going to have nice storage underneath the bed and jacks to hold it up. Have access to your storage down below. And nice wardrobe. Lots of storage. These lights turn off and on with the button in the center as we come on around and back into the cabin we come to your uh, living area and we have the uh, radio on it has uh, different zones one and two and then also uh, you can adjust the uh, sound up here or turn it off your TV also is uh, has its own remote and the fireplace as well off and on you can adjust flame color kind of like blue and all those will be in the drawer located in the kitchen when you receive your unit we do have hot and cold water sinks. The keys will be located here when it's delivered. Cooktop. Your cooktop is gas and you'll turn it to uh, light and hit the sparker. Each burner has its own sparker and will light off when you turn it to light. You can also light your oven pilot with this and you'll turn it to light, push the button in while you turn the uh, lighter and it will light the pilot. Travel with the cooktop down so that, or with the glass, the cover on the cooktop down. So I mentioned you have a light and fan over your cooktop and a nice microwave. Your refrigerator is residential and it is uh, that's where you'll adjust the temperature and turn it on works on AC and as we come on back this wall has your uh, air conditioner uh, thermostat or AC and heat so just push it and it will go to a fan you can have it on high low or automatic Automatic's a good place to have it. That way it turns off and on uh, when it reaches the temperature that you set by scrolling the buttons. So it will kick on here in a minute. And there you go. Then you can scroll down to electric uh, for your, uh, your heater or your heat. It's not electric, it runs on uh, LP and your uh, AC runs on uh, electric. You need 30 amps to run the AC. The furnace uh, is on, it'll kick off here in a minute. We just scroll through the uh, settings for the off button. Turn your fireplace off. Your couch does make out into a bed by taking the pillows off and uh, lifting up the uh, bottom portion and it will fold out into a bed. A nice uh, table and chairs. As you come back into the bedroom, have a nice wardrobe in here as well. And your own private bath operates the same way. You'll 
the blush and press slightly to fill. It has its own GFI and medicine cabinet as well as a fan to vent. This unit is prepped for an additional AC that can be uh, installed at this vent area. And if you have two ACs, again, you need 30 or 50 amps to, uh, to operate two at a time. Your breaker panels here, all the 110s are marked, all the breakers, and then past your converter or your 12 volts, and they're marked as well. This is what they go to. That pretty well uh, takes care of the walkthrough. Uh, we want to uh, thank you for buying your unit from Holman. And uh, we know that you're going to enjoy it. Uh, enjoy camping.